Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be reviewing the new Kaleidos Smoky Nostalgia Collection. I've been waiting for them to come out with another collection because I love their brand. I really think they embody fun and taking risks with makeup, which is what I love about makeup and just this collection, right up my alley, I'm sure you guys already know that. In the entire collection, there are five different blushes. We have a set of the lip clays and then two quads. Kaleidos has never come out with a quad before. So before we get into it, I did receive this in PR from Kaleidos. However, they definitely are a brand that I would spend my own money on. So I feel very fortunate that I am able to receive the collection a little bit early. This collection launches February 13th, 10 p.m. Eastern time at 7 p.m. Pacific time. It's available or it's about to be available. I'm not exactly sure when I'm getting this video up. I think a lot of you, especially those of you who have similar similar taste to me who love those cool tone neutral looks are really going to love this collection. You are able to buy the entire set, like the PR set that I received for $189. If you do get that, it's going to come in this box, which is so cool, you guys. I love when Kaleidos comes out with these vanity boxes. If you have like a daughter or something, she might love to put this in her room. Uh, so really love this like lacy, deep kind of vibe that we have here. So I'm going to have timestamps to each of the products if there's specific products that you are interested in seeing. We're going to start off with the quads. Excited because this is a new style of eyeshadows from Kaleidos. They've never come out with with quads and both of these speak to me. If you guys know my typical taste, these are right up my alley. This is why I'm so excited. So these are going to be $22 each, which isn't bad. I know it's a quad, but they are made in the PRC and have a 12 month shelf life. These are the components that they're going to come in. Really not much difference depending on what color you pick up. That's the back if you guys wanna see. Let's open these up. Look at these components, how neat. Now, I would say maybe not my style, but I can certainly appreciate this style. Kaleidos does a great job with their packaging always, so let's take a look. I will say something that I do not like is that the lace would cover the name of the palette. I wish they would have like stuck the name on like a sticker or something here that would have been a little bit more helpful. And then you open it up and you are able to just completely bring this to the back, which I like, but you do have a mirror if you need it. So this one is Black Jasmine, which is the really gray smoky tones. You guys know, and it will come with like a plastic insert like this. Cold Brew, <laughs> whoa, give it to me. <laughs> like this, everyday colors for me. You know, I'm excited about this. I'm gonna turn the lights down and we're gonna swatch before we put them on the eyes. Let's swatch Cold Brew first because I have to. <laughs> so we have three mattes and one shimmer. Oh my goodness, they feel so smooth. Wow, check out the swatches. They swatch really nice. Now, if you're not looking for any dupes or repeats, I mean, this is definitely a dupable palette. There's nothing unique about this color story on the market, but I do like what I'm feeling with the formula. You see how deep this gets? And of course, I just love a color story like this and the packaging's cute. I'm into it. <laughs> Can you tell? I haven't even put them on my eyes yet. And we'll swatch Black Jasmine right below. For those of you who love those smoky eyes, really gray tone. Oh my gosh, look how deep this is. Let's see. Okay. Wow. Look at that. This is why I love Kaleidos. I like this color better than this color in terms of the formulation. It just feels smoother to me and it has a little bit more reflex and oomph to it. This black is absolutely insane. I mean, Kaleidos does a really great job with the black. So these are both of the quads. What do we think? I think they're stunning. They're both very dupable. You might have these colors already in your collection. They did a good job with what they chose to do. We'll do cold brew first. This one is actually gonna match my sweater. So I'm gonna start off with the Kaleidos Tone Activator, which I really, really enjoy this eye primer. If you wanna pick up a good eye primer, 
I've been testing out, I'm gonna give you a little update, the ColourPop Party Proof Eye Primer. I have decided I do not like it. So if you've been following me, it makes my eyelids look very, very dry. So I'm not a fan, but we like the Kaleidos. I've always liked this one. Because these are quads, it's gonna be really easy to come up with a look. So I'm gonna start off with the lightest shade right here, in case you wanna see what the fallout situation is like. A little powdery, nothing crazy. And oh, this is giving me more depth than I anticipated. Blending out very, very nice. Gonna run just a little bit more. I just dipped in on the lower lash line. This is a refer number 16 brush, by the way. Okay, let's see how these babies build. I'm gonna go in with a Kaleidos S2 brush for the mid-tone brown. Let you see that. Okay. I appreciate the different layers of browns. I honestly really, really do, don't get me wrong, but I have almost sort of like this to be like a shimmery highlight shade, personally, but that's just me. So I can definitely say if you have like a more medium to deeper skin tone, you actually would really like this as almost a transition crease shade. A little bit deeper than a transition, but it is nice. Eh, why am I complaining? I don't care. It's good. <laughs> I like the color. So that built up very nicely. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. This is a Alamar soft diffuser brush and we're going into the deepest shade. Okay, this one got a lot of kickback. Do you see? So be careful. I wanna see how deep this one goes. Ooh, this one is like extra fallouty. So be careful. Goes pretty deep. Gonna run this along the lower lash line as well. That goes really, really deep. It's blending out beautifully. I mean, judging on the quality of how these are blending, I would say this is a quad that is definitely worth $22. It's giving me great, great quality. The quality, honestly, arguably, better than some Tom Fords that I own. <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger for this shade. Super excited, always about a glimmery shade. Oof. I said I like the silver better in the other palette. Um, no, nope, this is pulling just beautifully. So it is very textured, very shimmery. If you're not into these really glittery shades, stay away from this quad. If you're like me where I'm like, give it to me. Glittery neutrals. I love this palette. Oh my gosh, this has me written all over it. And y'all know that. Definitely recommend this one. Really excited about this one. If you're a basic glam bee like me. Ugh. So pretty. I actually thought this was gonna be more of like a mid-tone shimmer, but it's more bright than I anticipated, and I'm very happy about that. Okay, we like that. Let's move on to the other one. Once again, let's dive into the Kaleidos Tone Activator. While I do love this though, it's really messy. You kind of have to lay it the opposite way because the liquid actually comes out of the squeezy tube. So there is a problem with the component itself. It's messy for that reason. But dang, I love what is inside so much. So they need to get that figured out because I needed to know. Black Jasmine, here we go. Smoky lovers. Ooh, this one is beautiful. And in between, I'm wiping my brush on my Sigma Switch. Love this! It gets all the color off. I advocate wholeheartedly for this. We're gonna do the exact same method. I mean, this is the way that you probably most likely to use it. So we're starting off with the lightest shade. You can see she powdery. I'll uh, just tap your brush off and hopefully we won't get too much fallout. And I'm popping this in the crease. And both of these quads give a lot of depth. So if you have a deeper skin tone, I don't think you need to worry whether or not these will work for you. You may have to use them a little differently than me. I honestly don't even think so. I think they're great for a lot of different skin tones. Now don't quote me on that. Obviously, I've only tested this on myself. And if a creator who has a richer skin tone than me comes out with a video, please take their word for it. <laughs> All right, let's go into this gray shade right here. I feel like this could pull a little bit blue almost. Very interesting. And I'm gonna start off by building this and patting it in the outer corner. And then you work it out. Everything looks super smoky and great right now. On my skin tone, which is light medium, I would say this is pretty good on depth. Like I could stop here, but of course we have this not so black, which could give you something super smoky. I'm gonna go in with that first brush that I use to help soften the edges. Wow, sometimes grays can go very bad and very, very patchy, especially since these are cool but again, Kaleidos quality is doing great. I'm gonna be very, very careful about smoking this. I honestly would probably more so use this as eyeliner, but for the sake of the video, let's give it a try. Super powdery, you saw that, right? Not like disintegrate into nothing powdery, but definitely tap your brush off powdery or you might regret it. Honestly, I probably wanna put something down. I'm gonna put this puff 
my florist down just in case to catch any fallout. I'm gonna get just a little bit here. And then again, lower lash line. I mean, this black is phenomenal, you guys. Not only does it get super deep, and you can get it deeper than this, I'm just using a light hand, but it blends great. I don't know how Kaleidos does it. They really have phenomenal quality, especially at the price point. Okay, who's ready? For the best part of this so excited it feels so smooth you guys so you know how natasha denona has the xenon palette i recommend this over the xenon palette the quality it trumps it honestly need i say more holy you guys i'm gonna see how these wear i don't know if they get creasy or anything <gasps> these are so so beautiful so where these lack in originality they definitely prevail in quality so if you think you are gonna wear either of these color stories huge thumbs up okay i'm gonna do liner and lashes and get my eyes ready and we will go into the blushes which also so excited about the blushes so excited so i just did all brown liner and then some lashes on the side and then all black liner and then lashes on this eye but let's get into the blushes there are five in this collection the colors you guys are gonna love the way that these look i am telling you they chose great great colors they are going to be 18 dollars each which is not super cheap for an individual blush but let's take a look so each of them are going to come in the same box as the quad and then when you open it up there's actually a design on the inside i don't think i showed you that and then the outer component each blush does have a different base layer again it's just the lace and then you open it up you have your mirror and your blush so this is the first one which is a dream Dream walk. This is a very, very vibrant pink. Let me actually turn the lights down just a wee bit so you can see that. So again, dream walk, very bright bubblegum pink. The next color is sunburnt. This is a pretty peachy orangey shade. Oh, let me show you the finger first. Here's how it swatches. This one, oof, my rich skin tone gals. You're gonna love this. Sanguine. How pretty is that? It's almost red, but not quite. It's like a berry red. This one looks really gorgeous and neutral. If you're into the neutral tone blushes, this is Joyride. It almost is like an orange brown shade. I actually don't think I have a blush that looks like it. I normally don't go for colors like this, but I'm excited. I feel like this is great for a bronzy look. If you have a lot of bronzer on, this will bleed out perfectly of the bronzer. And then the last blush that we have is Ecstasy. This is like a peachy pink right here almost coral and I love how each of these blushes look so different by swatch so each really does hold their own personality you can see they have a matte finish I would say they have a soft matte kind of consistency here but I'm so excited to get these on my face dreamwalk sunburnt sanguini joyride and ecstasy for application i'm gonna try and layer on as much as i can i don't know how well that's going to work uh, but i'm gonna start off with the deeper shades towards the back of my cheek so i want to try some of joyride right here the one that i said would bleed out of the bronzer beautifully so i'm putting it back where my bronzer is yeah, this kind of on my skin tone pulls a little bit more brown. For me, I personally don't love that kind of color on me. I like bright pink blushes. So this is a little bit too neutral for me. But I know a lot of you actually don't like that pop on your cheeks. And if you don't, this is such a unique color. Very, very pretty. I mean, I feel like it does look a little dirty. So this isn't my favorite color, but I'm going to experiment with this, especially when we start getting more into a bronzy kind of looks. I think this will be a great bronzy blush. The of the blushes seem to be blending super easily and then this color right here probably not the most flattering color for me so i'm gonna use a really light hand um yeah could be fun for like a monochromatic look it's not out of the playing field for me for sure oh my gosh definitely not i could do such a cool monochromatic look with this on my eyelids and then bleeding out into my blush what I can see is that these blushes are buildable for sure. So if you wanted a deeper color, if you have more of a rich skin tone, perfect 
for you. If, if you're more on the light side like me, they are workable. Wouldn't recommend this color probably for our skin tone. You just have to be careful with it, but it's doable. Okay, let's layer up next. I'm gonna take some of Sunburnt. It's like a peachy orangey shade. It looks quite bright, almost pastel, right? And I'm going to layer it bleeding out of joy right here. See, these are more of the colors I like. I like an obnoxious cheek. It doesn't really go with the eye look in particular, I'm aware. Honestly, these blushes, I'm surprised they chose these colors because I don't think they go that well with the eye quads for the most part. They're just vibrant. A lot of them are great for summer, but really pretty, blending out very nice, looks nice and soft on the cheek. We're gonna try this corally color next, which is Ecstasy. I wiped off my brush. This is a Wayne Goss number two brush, by the way. Let's see how this one looks. This one has more pink to it, so I'm a little bit more partial to it. Looks pretty. So that's the difference. I love that you can easily see the difference of each blush. They don't all look the same, so they each have their own place, their own value. This one is very, very pretty. I like that. This is kind of my speed. I actually think I might like sunburn more because I don't have too many orange blushes in my collection. Who am I kidding? I have a lot of orange blushes, but I don't reach for them as often. <laughs> okay, final color is Dreamwalk. This one is interesting. I saved it for last because it's almost like pastel-y. I'm gonna use my Sonia G cheek brush. And by the way, not too powdery. You don't get too much kickback, not like the eyeshadows. And I just wanna see how this looks right on the apple. It almost gives that blue toned. I know my cheeks look crazy. This is not meant to be like a cheek look but this reminds me a lot of that blue toned pink that is really popular from Dior which you guys know I love that blush so if you're into that look this gives a similar effect it's a little bit more vibrant I would say but if you like that blue toned pink I think you will like this one and I'm happy that they added this in their line I look crazy I just wanted to make sure you saw each color and the way that they worked I'm going to <laughs> kind of try and mesh this into my skin better I will update you in the description box or in the comments below in terms of wear time on these blushes. Wear time is not something I typically struggle with though considering I have more dry skin and the cheeks are vibrant today so I don't think we'll have too many issues. But blendability, decent. Not 10 out of 10 because I did put a little bit of work into him. But love the colors that they chose. A great pigmentation. Uh, very versatile. You can get lighter to more built up look as well. So it's versatile in that aspect. The matte finish here looks really flattering on the cheek it looks really really soft so the only thing that's not like a 10 out of 10 I would say is the blendability on these I would give them like an 8 out of 10 and of course that was particularly with the ones that were deeper I just those are harder to work with, but solid, solid blush formula. I like that they're matte. I like that you can add shimmer on top if you want. So give me a moment. I'm going to press this into my skin a little bit more, maybe put some powder over top, and we are going to finish off with the lips. The last and final part of this collection is going to be their lip clays. You can buy this set with the case for $35. It is going to include the four shades, but you are able, if you see a color that you like, to order each shade individually for $12. Let me show you the packaging here. I love the component right here. So let's see. So this first shade, I just want you to see the texture here is Skinship. The colors here are more neutral, which I really like because they have some some bolder colors in their collection so it's that soft matte finish kind of like the NYX soft matte lip creams I love this formula I find them to be extremely comfortable here is cold smoke that's a little deeper cognac so these two are quite cool and then obviously this one is warmish and then the last one that we have is smeared rouge which is definitely more red and bright let's get to swatching these um, formulation wise, I love this formula. I find it super duper comfortable. I use these all the time. I think they are great. So let me show you Skinship. Excited that they have such a nude color because they don't have in their collection yet. With a brown lip liner. Oh yeah. You see how they just blur your lip lines? That's why I love this formula. Okay, excuse my poor application. <laughs> I apologize. But for me, this is the color that I'm definitely going to use the most. It's going to look great with those cooler kind of lip colors. So I would recommend this one. I love it. And $12, that's not a bad deal at all. Let's do a cold smoke next. Definitely deeper. I don't normally wear colors like this, but this looks so good. Doesn't feel like there's anything on the lips. 
See, it blurs the lips out. I like this color too. If this is a color that you wear a lot, highly recommend it. I'm gonna put a little bit of skinship in the center. Mm, that didn't layer like I wanted to. <laughs> okay, let me take this off. But again, old smoke. Cognac is next. <gasps> this is really pretty. I love this with the smoky eyes that we have going on. Don't know that I'd wear it a lot, but <laughs> very, very pretty. I like that it's a little deeper. I've been loving like a deeper reddish lip, so this is nice. Okay, last color that we have to swatch is Smeared Rouge. Ooh, this is definitely... Hold on, let me finish. This is such a pretty deep raspberry shade. Smeared Rouge is also very beautiful. It's more raspberry than cognac. Personally, I prefer cognac, but I ain't mad at this one either. <laughs> All right, you guys, here's my very non-cohesive look, mismatched and everything, but all created with the Smoky Nostalgia Collection from Kaleidos. Overall thoughts, definitely a success. Really in love with this collection. For me, I'm in love with the eyeshadow quads the most just because the quality is impeccable and the shades are up my alley. But of course, like I said, they are dupable. The blushes I think are really, really great. If you see a couple colors that might be new for your collection, those are definitely worth checking out. And then I did really enjoy the lip clays that they had in here as well. So if any of these items look like your colors that you're actually gonna wear, I give you a big thumbs up. Luckily, you have the option to pick and choose individually what you want. You don't have to buy anything in a set. Good job, Kaleidos. Love this collection as per usual. Love the tones here. This is one of my favorites for sure because it's catered to me for sure. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.